Tar Heels completed their three-game series with App State over the weekend, and here's how the games went. In 2019, App State won in Chapel Hill 34-31. The Mountaineers blocked the kick on the final play of that game. Last year, it was maybe the craziest, damnedest thing I've ever seen. Up on the mountain, North Carolina evened up the series 63-61. to And then over the weekend, double overtime was required. North Carolina, 40 to 34 winners. And predictably, the conversation has centered on, should this series be continued? It's already going to be difficult. We'll see if the ACC bumps up from eight to nine games when they add Stanford, Cal, and SMU next year. We'll see what exactly college football looks like over the next five years. If there's a place for North Carolina to play app, they are booked up through 2027 and they have three opponents booked in 2028. So if it were to happen, it won't happen anytime soon. But getting to the uh, hypothetical of if you can schedule them, should you schedule them? Many Tar Heel fans are saying today, no, we should not. We've had enough of that. There's no advantage for us. There's no benefit for us as an east carolina grad i've heard many of these arguments before when lincoln riley was calling plays and zay jones and justin hardy were catching a ton of passes and ruffin mcneil were knocking off teams and dropping 70 on the tar heels i've heard many of these arguments and they're not good ones north carolina absolutely should play app state and there is value for the tar heels it's not just for App State. For one, it's good for the state of North Carolina. And if it's good for the state of North Carolina, it should be good for the Tar Heels as well. That shows in the stands. That was not one of those fake sellouts, like they're going to announce for the Minnesota game this week. Well, we've sold out the Minnesota game. We'll see if those stands are jam-packed full. That's the best environment, without a doubt, I've seen post-COVID for North Carolina legitimately packed inside Keenan Stadium. And this is a state where football's never come first. So, of course, having more noteworthy games that people want is good for the state of North Carolina. Playing app is good for the same reason it's good that North Carolina plays Wake Forest. Let's think about it this way. If Wake Forest were not in the ACC, would you say it's would you say that North Carolina should play Wake Forest? Oh, but Josh, the history between the two. Okay. Since 2015, Wake Forest has played North Carolina four times. Two of those games, it was a non conference game. Since 2019, North Carolina and App have played three times. What adva- what benefit is there? for North Carolina to play Wake Forest. If you're using that logic, is there a team in the state of North Carolina if conferences didn't exist? You would say there's a huge advantage for you to play? If you're going to look at it that way? Oh, you have to play NC State. Now you have to play Duke. You have to play Wake Forest every other year or so now with the way the schedules work. But I'm saying, if you didn't, what value would there be to play in those teams? And if you're arguing there is value for North Carolina to play Wake Forest, then how could you argue there's no value in playing App State? You can't. It's good for the players. It's good for the parents. It's good for the fans. And I know I can feel you rolling your eyes at that type of response. Oh, cool. It's great for the fans. That's really the argument you're making, Josh Graham? No. Mac Brown is the one making that argument. Listen to what he was saying when asked about realignment just last week. Without fans, we don't have a game. And a lot of times we forget fans. But without our fans and without them buying tickets and without them paying money for facilities and, and coaches and NIL, and uh, we don't have a game. So we can't forget our fans. And without the players and their parents, we don't have a game. So I think that's where we need to put more emphasis and common sense into it instead of it just being about money. I know we got to have money. 
but uh, I'm, I'm worried that we're losing some rival games. We're, we're losing who we are and, and we're becoming national um, as, as leagues across the country. How doesn't that apply to this? Almost every single word. I know he was talking about realignment, but fans matter for realignment, but it doesn't matter when you're talking about playing teams in the state of North Carolina. North Carolina is the one that claims to be the flagship school. If you're the flagship school, play the teams within the state of North Carolina. Play the top programs. Play East Carolina out east. There are a lot of kids on your team that are from that way. It'd be great for their families. Same thing for those. There are kids from up on the mountain that play for the Tar Heels. You're the flagship school. Play East Carolina. Play Appalachian State. Just like North Carolina votes against the expansion from last week. They claim we're going to be the ones that are right. Okay, if you're the ones that are claiming to do things the right way, then do the right things and be about what you say you're about. Oh, we're about the fans. We can't forget the fans. And then Mac Brown's going to say, I don't want to play App State again. These other schools, they can do it. And here's the thing. They are doing it. I, I, you know who has App State scheduled? Clemson. South Carolina, NC State. Wake Forest says they want to get something on the book soon. So yeah, North Carolina, what makes you special? This is the part that actually legitimately infuriates me when I see Tar Heel fans saying, ho, 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 we're above that. Like, it doesn't help us. It doesn't, we get no benefit from playing Appalachian State. You have not earned the right to be above it. Are you kidding me? Josh, look, we were 17th a week ago. We fell three spots in the rankings. Who the bleep do you think you are? How about if you're going to worry about the national rankings of things, how about win one ACC championship in the last 40 years before you start talking as if you're Georgia, before you stop start talking like you're Alabama? Hey, we got to worry about our resume here. Oh, we got bumped back three spots for the win against App. It is gross. It is disappointing that they got bumped back. They should not have. It should be something that's, you know, applauded a little bit more. But spare me the you're above it mess. Win something before you start acting that way. Of course, North Carolina should play App. It's It benefits the state, so it benefits the Tar Heels.